So, welcome back to True Cherishment 15. This is the second video I will be making. And, yeah. As you know, I'm Tori. Like I said in my first video, um, introducing myself. And today's video is going to be on not being afraid to, like, speak up and be confident in yourself. Also, I really hope you enjoy these claw pants because they're probably going to be in multiple videos. Anyways, I think that speaking up and speaking out for yourself is really important and also like pertains to loving yourself and being comfortable in your own skin because you have to be confident and secure with yourself and with your personality to not be afraid to like stand up for what you believe in or just to speak out. Like, I mean, this can cover so many different subjects in life. I know that I've always had trouble, like, even, like, asking for help in class. For example, I'm super bad at math, and even though I usually need, like, a lot of help in math, I struggle with actually being able to ask my teacher, like, hey, can you help me with this? Because I don't want to sound dumb. I don't want to sound needy, but the truth is, you don't seem that way, and I think it's really important just to be comfortable in your own skin, and to know that you are the biggest judge of yourself, and whatever you might think that you're going to sound stupid, or you're going to sound dumb, and that people are going to make fun of you, but no one is going to think that way about you except for yourself. So you should never be afraid to just speak up, to say like, hey, I'm having trouble with this. Or even if you're in a bad group of friends and you're having trouble making friends or you're with the wrong group, like I said, don't fall for peer pressure. Don't be afraid to say like, Hey, I'm uncomfortable with this. Like, I'm not okay with this. You need to make sure that you know who you are and that you know the type of things that you're okay with doing so that you won't give in to peer pressure and that you won't be a type of person that you would be ashamed of and you won't make bad choices and you won't fail math. For example, I have a friend who was telling me about this the other day, actually. So, it was in maybe English, I think. She was put in a really, like, bad group for a project. And she was kind of, like, having to be the leader of everything. But she didn't want to sound stupid or make other people, like, hate her or think she was mean. And say, like, come on, guys. We need to actually work so we don't get, like, a negative seven. But she was too afraid to speak out. And she cared too much about what they might think of her. So she didn't say anything, and they barely got any work done, and they got a super bad grade on it. But like, like I said before, in situations like that, the people in your group are not going to think that you're a terrible person, or that you're mean, or that you're dumb, because you're saying, like, let's get work done, unless you're super mean about it, and you're like, come on, you freaking terrible people, get this together right now, I'm going to kill you. That's different. But if you're just, like, nice and respectful about it, then nothing bad is going to happen. And they're going to be like, yeah, I want a good grade on this. So they're going to put in work, and you're going to be a team, and everything's going to be great, and you're going to get a 100. And I get it. I really do. I understand, as good as anyone, that it can be super hard to put yourself out there and to speak up for yourself. But... Whenever you actually do start taking a stand, standing up for yourself, saying what's on your mind, I think it'll make you a much happier, more secure person because you won't be as scared of things, you won't be as nervous and stressed when it comes to like school related things, when it comes to friend related things. And you'll just feel more comfortable, especially in your own skin, which is very important. And you should never have to, like, be afraid of being yourself. I hate it when I see, like, those stereotypical movies. Whenever the, the, 
like the kids are getting bullied, they're getting their lunch money stolen, or there's like the geek in class and he's afraid of speaking up for her, himself or herself. Like, why? That's not necessary and it's just so easy to resolve. And I know for a lot of people that just gaining and building up your self-esteem and self-confidence to be able to do that is a struggle. And I get it. I really do. You don't understand how awful and weird this is for me just to make these videos, putting myself out there. But I think that actually, like, getting hobbies and trying to, like, get yourself out in the open more, like, joining clubs, making more effort, just anything you can to, like, increase your role and do anything you can to, like, get involved with the community or speak up more can really help your confidence. I know that this is only my second video, but I already feel more comfortable like speaking out. I mean, I'm freaking talking to you guys in a superhero t-shirt and some cloud pants, but I don't care because I am who I am and I'm going to be proud of that. My hair is not even the same length, which is really stressing me out, but um, <laughs> whatever, I'll get a cut later. You shouldn't be ashamed of who you are and you should let everyone know this is the way I am. I'm going to be proud of that and I'm going to let my personality be shown because that's also a good way to make sure that you have friends that you can count on and that you know are there for you and truly you because if you're like fake at school and you don't speak up and you just try to act how you would think everyone would want you to act then you're going to wind up being in some crowd of friends friends, who don't even know the real you and you know that you can't count on when you need them because they don't even like know the real you and they're not going to be there for you. So in every aspect, just being who you are and not being afraid to speak up for yourself can is very helpful and can help improve your life in every way. I know I've said this so many times and I'm just like, I promise I'm going to get better with these videos and I should probably start making more scripts because I have like a few topics written down that I want to talk about and I kind of just go off of them and I probably ended up repeating myself way too many times. But I hope this is super help for, helpful for you and I hope that it makes you realize that there's nothing wrong with being who you are and speaking up for yourself and if some people don't like it then who cares because there will be people who will appreciate you for that and there could also be people like the shy kids at school if they see hey he or she's speaking up for themselves and they're taking a stand and I really admire that maybe you could lead other people to speaking up for themselves and to standing up for what they think is right. And you could be the role model that they need to actually help improve their own lives as well. And you never know who you're going to affect by your choices, which is also why you shouldn't be fake. Because what if you're impacting your little sibling and they're saying, wow, she doesn't stand up for herself. My brother or sister is super shy and I guess that's how I have to be too and just not say anything, and no, you don't want them to think that. And there's nothing wrong with being shy, believe me. Like, I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying that you don't want people to think of you as someone that you're not, and you don't want to be pushed around for thinking that you'll get made fun of for speaking up because you won't. And... I just think that it's really important for you all to know that and to believe that and to be okay with that. So I really hope that this video was helpful for you. It actually kind of helped me know that I need to be more confident in what I do. And you're probably going to see the same outfit in a lot of different videos because I'm making a bunch of them tonight because I'm feeling super motivated. So I hope you all like this and I hope that it was helpful.